Hello friends, in this video we are going to create a new project for our Friends Forever application and we would set up our application with necessary components from NuGet. So let's start the work and we'll go to Visual Studio 2013 and we'll go to File, New and then click on Project and we are going to add ASP.NET Web application and you could find this template under templates visual c sharp and web and i'm going to name my application as friends forever and i would choose empty template with mvc installed on it and click on ok so this would add a web application with mvc installed so it will take few seconds Just wait for a few seconds. Okay, now the project creation is successful. Now we have an empty web application which is uh, powered with MVC and the routing and everything is already done. And you could see empty controller folder and empty view folder. So that we have to add. And if I go to the references, you would see reference of system.web.mvc. Okay, now we'll start with installing the components. So I'll go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and click on Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. And I can click on this Microsoft and .NET or even NuGet.org. That would do. So the first thing I'm going to install is Entity Framework. That would be our ORM for the application and I'll click on install. So this would install the latest entity framework version from NuGet into our application. That is done. The next thing I'm going to install is jQuery. So we need jQuery for doing our client side operations. So I'll install jQuery as well. And then I'm also going to install jQuery UI because we need jQuery UI for pop-ups and uh, other controls. So this is the jQuery UI combined library. So I'll be installing this into our project. Okay, that is also done. And the last thing I'm going to install is Simple Injector. And we are going to use Simple Injector for dependency injection in our project so that we could create a loosely coupled application. And there are different versions for Web API and MVC. So you would choose Simple Injector ASP.NET MVC integration and click on install. Okay, so that installation is also done. So let's verify once. So we have Entity Framework installed we have simple injector installed and MVC was already installed on that. Under scripts, we have jQuery installed and jQuery UI also installed. So we have all the project components being installed for our initial development. Now we are going to add a controller and I'm going to name that controller as security controller. So this controller would be responsible for registering and uh, login process for the user. So I'll click on add. This would add a new controller with default index action method. And the first method I'm going to create is logon. And I'll right click on this function body and I'll, I select add view. So this dialog box asks me to choose a layout. So let's go to views folder and create our layout first. So under views folder, I'll add a new folder first because layout resides under shared folder. I'll add a shared folder and then would add a MVC view page and would name it as layout.cshtml. Okay, and in this div, I'll specify render body which would create a placeholder for the views. Okay, and in the title, we would say Rubag 
dot title and we'll close this layout and we'll again add the view but now we will be selecting our layout as well okay now this view is currently rendering a header specifying logon now by default our route config specifies default controller and action as home and index but now we want it to be security controller and logon method so by default when application runs it should go to logon method now i'm going to run my application and it should display logon page so we are done with the uh, setup thing once a logon page is rendered so logon page has rendered and we are done with the setup part and in the next video we will basically try to implement a register functionality in our application and we will also be setting up our database so for now we are done with this uh, video i hope you like this video thank you friends